side. So, hey, Rick Yed has just a bit of an advantage right there over Guzman. All right, let's turn it over to our ring announcer, Connor Hall. Now, in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, weighing in at 141 pounds, representing Y Crew with an undefeated record of six victories, zero defeats. He hails from Boston, Massachusetts, David Harikyan. And now, in the blue corner, with the red trunks, weighing in at 140 and one half pounds. He trains at Team Workshop with an amateur record of nine wins and only two losses, representing New York City, Ubino Guzman. <laughs> Can't wait to see. I mean, uh, Guzman with uh, with a little more experience, but hey, Rickian looks like definitely looks like a, a solid individual. Not sure about the tassels on his arm. Those are actually uh, also part of the traditional uh, uh, ceremonial uh, good luck charms that uh, Muay Thai fighters wear. It's called uh, uh, a prajit. So all these things that. You'll see some of the fighters wearing our... our oh, he, he didn't help him out there. He took one right to the nose from Guzman. Guzman definitely looks skilled. Clinching really well and landing that left hook, but now getting... Oh, turning the tides and putting Hayrickian on the ropes. Nice. Nice uh, clinch and knee exchange here. Trading a nice kick up high by Herikian, but it was blocked by Guzman. Guzman going low at the leg again, but Attacking. blocked by Herikian. Nice. Guzman switching southpaw for a second, but now going back to orthodox. You'll see fighters do that sometimes to try to confuse their opponent. Up high with a kick. Nice Herikian on Guzman. Guzman landing a nice flurry up top with his hands, but hey, Ricky and answering with a, a nice, nice high kick. Nice kick to the body from hey, Ricky. He's got the legs going. Oh, yeah. Again, another leg to the chest, or midsection rather, of Guzman. But Guzman gets him into the corner. Now they're in the clinch. Let's see what goes on. Late in the round, two or three knees there by hey, Ricky, and a third one kind of shakes his head. Nice turn from Hayrickian, but a, re a return throw or off-balancing move from Guzman. These are... As we get a, another look at the, the action between these two fighters, Hayrickian uh, very active with his legs, connecting a number of times to Guzman, but Guzman hanging in there and giving it right back. These uh, clinch exchanges are, are very technical to the, to the general uh, audience member, they might not see the, the technicality of the clinching. What they're trying to do is off balance each other to throw knees, and both, both fighters are off balancing each other from time to time to try to prevent the other from throwing a knee or landing a knee. All right, we're ready for round number two. The Friday Night Fights title. Five rounds. Two minutes each. Guzman and Hayrickian. Hayrickian wearing the black trunks. Guzman in the red. Guzman trying to, a nice kick to the midsection there. Able to get out of the way nice of some the haymakers. Move. Yeah, oh yeah from Hayrickian. Nice body kick from Hayrickian. Guzman switching from southpaw to orthodox pretty regularly now. I think it's doing its job in confusing Hayrickian a little. It would confuse me. 
Nice knees. Nice knees from Hayrickian. Hayrickian using the lower body well. Buck Grant gets in there and separates him. Kick to the back of the leg of Guzman. Now Guzman responds to Hayrickian. Nice attempt at an overhand right. Oh, he just missed a kick to the head and falls down. He definitely had some steam on that one. He was trying to take Guzman's head off, but uh, just missed. Left him off balance. Another kick up high. Blocked by Guzman in the red trunks. Hey, Ricky in, in the black. Nice knee from Guzman. Guzman is probably playing catch up right now in the clinch because uh, Hey Ricky is, uh, has caused or landed a lot of knees in the clinch. So still wants to come at him is Guzman. Not backing away. Guzman is checking uh, some of uh, Hayrickian's kicks, which is probably a good idea. Even though it's shin to shin, that's how you prevent your opponent from throwing too many kicks. Last seconds of round number two of this five round bout. And that is the end of round number two. We'll have plenty more. All right, we're back at the Broad Street Ballroom. CJ Papa along with Mr. Classic, Chris Romulo. Nice watching. Exchange. Nice exchange of kicks early in this round. Obino Guzman in the red and David Hurricane in the black. And they're at it in round number three of a five round fight. Some heavy kicks and punches being landed by both fighters. Hey, Ricky, and almost falling out of the ring earlier in this round, but uh, luckily, uh, thankfully, he kept his balance. Guzman trying to work the, the midsection with the knees and the clench. Again, there's some nice turning uh, maneuvers in that clinch. Again, to, uh, to try to prevent your opponent from landing knees, you want to turn him before he throws. Nice little jab there by Hurricane. Kick to the back of the leg of Guzman by Hurricane. Wrapped in the clench, let's see the knee action. You see a lot of knee action in the clench. Oh yeah, these guys are definitely uh, well well versed in the clinch, either kneeing to the body, even even the legs. Kneeing to the legs is a very uh, effective use of the knee to try to wear down the thighs of your opponent. Nice evasive move from Guzman. That's twice he's missed a high kick. Guzman has been able to get out of the way as Hurricane winds up with the leg. He wants to try and hit something there. That was a trip as they go down and he'll get up He's fine. That's actually a legal trip. That was a very good move from uh, Hayrickian to trap Guzman's uh, right or actually left foot and turn him over. As we end the round number three, we'll be back with much more right here on Friday Night Fights. All right, round number four, Broad Street Ballroom between Obino Guzman in the red trunks and David Hurricane in the black trunks. It has been a very entertaining bout so far with Hurricane missing Guzman with a couple of big swinging leg kicks. Let's see what can happen in round number four, Chris. These guys literally ran out of each other at the beginning of that round. These guys want to trade, and they are definitely trading with some good exchanges. Guzman definitely sees when that leg is coming. I don't know if he's telegraphing it, hey, Ricky in, but he definitely sees it as being able to get out of the way. Guzman very, very good at that uh, evasive high kick move. Guzman working the lower leg, especially that, that front leg. He keeps getting the back 
Oh, nice punch to the face there. Guzman on Hurricane. Hurricane answers back with a right to the face of Guzman. Nice body kick from Hurricane, but there was also a, a good body kick from Guzman earlier in that exchange. Guzman back in Hurricane up. Nice. Taking a step back, switching his stance again. Round number four, our most entertaining so far. The action is picked up. Nice knee from Guzman. This is interesting in the clench, how they just go immediately knee. You clench and you go right to the lower body with the knees. The idea is to be the first in the clinch to land and the last to, la uh, to land in the clinch. So these guys are definitely trying to employ that, that philosophy. Nice left, straight left from Guzman. But Harikian answers back. A little wild on that shot. Maybe a little more boxing there as opposed oh, yeah. to Muay Thai. Harikian answers with a right. Nice push now, kick. Nice, yep. These guys are using as many tools as possible. Push kicks. Nice exchange of knees. This is going to be a, a hard uh, fight to judge. I don't envy their uh, decision, uh, their uh, judging right now. Well, we'll keep it right here between the fourth and the final round, the fifth round. We'll take a look at some of the action in that fourth round. Uh, really the best uh, action we've seen so far in this fight where both guys were landing, whether it was a, a leg or a punch to the head, each guy had something, and then you had in the clinch, you had both Guzman and Erickian very aggressive with their knees. This is a very classic clinch battle. I, I'm, uh, I'm excited uh, to see this, because this is, this is a huge uh, part of the Muay Thai uh, boxing uh, sport, the clinching game. A lot of people are now uh, versed in the clinching game, and these guys are showing, showing the crowd a great clinch battle. And here we go, the final round on the line, the Friday Night Fights light welterweight title. Obino Guzman in the red, David Hurricane in the black trunks. And they come out right away. Hurricane landing to the face of Guzman, but Guzman answers with a couple of leg kicks and snaps the head back of Hurricane. Great action here early in the final round. Both guys laying it all out there. Guzman is a robot, he's just backing Herrickian up, even though Herrickian is landing heavy, heavy kicks and punches as well, and knees. Guzman is, is just on a mission. He wants this title. It kind of settles down there for a minute. Let's see how the final minute and a half of this round plays out. That was an attempted uh, sweep. Uh, from like, Hayrickin, they couple, didn't work. A couple knees to the stomach by Hayrickin, a little kick there at the end to the chest, Hayrickin to Guzman. Hayrickin putting some good combinations, nice jab. Hayrickin is finding, trying to find his, uh, try to find his rhythm. Nice one, two, three combo, but Guzman still backing him up. Very tight fight here, Chris. Oh yeah. He keeps missing. Nice kick to the back of the leg. Caught him up high with the combination with the, the right foot, Hurricane and Guzman. To the side to the, of Guzman. Guzman might want to start throwing more body kicks considering uh, Hurricane has landed a handful of body kicks in this round unanswered. He body kicks again, score big. Slip there. Nice. At the end of this fight. Final seconds. Nice body kick. Of this fifth and final nice round. Knee. Tremendous ending to this fight. Right here at the Broad Street Ballroom. The decision is coming up right now on Friday Night Fights after this break. Now, we go to the judge's scorecard. Judge Leo Rodriguez sees this fight 47-48. Judge Vinny Chappell sees this fight 48-47. And lastly, Judge John Nikolovich sees this fight 47-48, making this a majority decision. Your new Friday night fight 
light welterweight champion from Boston, Massachusetts, David Arikian. So David Harikian beats Ubino Guzman.